much. Um, this is um, this was published on a magazine called Eclectica, and it was written um, after I visited one of the graves of the First World War dead in um, Flanders, and it's called Gas Gangway. It's a sick joke looking back. <coughs> You people think gas gangrene was some sort of bloating, a passing blackening of the lungs, a momentary seizing up. But it went as the clouds dispersed. You have no idea, no effing idea. You go to your medicine cabinets, your little Tupperware boxes of aspirin, Supplies of little pink dasters, tubes of germaline, <coughs> white bandages, nicely sealed and sterilized. Some new American beauty of a panacea, ointment for burns, cuts, anything. Sachets of diorolite, in case some poor baby has the trots for a while. You sit back and watch telly while your kids are sick, knowing there's a hospital, a doctor, an effing brain at the end of a teensy telephone if things turn out bad. Gas gangrene. The double of the double whammy you guys talk about nowadays. Little soldiers in the soil better than any bloody Germans, making their way under cover of darkness, damp and cold, under your wraps, into a sore place. So easy, matey. Blowing it up better than any mines, under front lines, planted by sappers, miners, tunneling in the, in the dark, for days, weeks. You know, those guys, they came all the way from Wales to tunnel Flanders mud. They dug so quietly, they could hear the voices of the men tunneling the opposite direction. Guttural noises through a mud wall. It was a game, a race, to lay the mines quickest to set the fuses, like those little soldiers marching up your tissues, bloating, puffing and puffing, round ankle bones, until your feet, my feet, were so swollen your boots split, but you didn't notice until they fell apart and someone shouted, Christ, Ernest, your foot! And it wasn't a foot. It was something else. Slimy, slippery, a substance no one had made a word for. We were 19 soldiers. Then we were 16. And I cried my guts out. Then 12. And I shook all day until someone gave me their round ration. 11. And I'd asked him to be my best man if... Eight. And it didn't matter. It was a parlor game. Catch as catch can. Who's effing next? Save the tea in the mugs. Skip, I'll be back at bath time. Seven. And he didn't have the decency to die out there. Was shot through the head when he stood up for a piss. Stayed propped against the wall, holding his willy, just looking a bit surprised. Nearly 90 years later, and the young men are, what? Eating out, drinking out, head banging. Is that what you call it? In discos, clubs, raves. What's that? Disgusting, some of the things they get up to. Didn't even know... Passchendaele, the song, Eep, forget it, 
Someone said they're teaching them cookery now. <laughs> Frank went a bit funny. Started shouting for his mum. He was only 18. Shouting he was scared. Wanted to go home, see his brother. And we shot him. Six. And you know, I can't remember the other two. But we're three soldiers, that's all that's left. Been dying for 90 years, mate. Gas gangrene. We're in the soil. Can't leave this place. Watch your coach notes gawping at shell holes. Watch bored little girls trailing round new museums. Watch older men standing, at least heads bowed, under the arch at Ypres, listening to the last post. And I can feel the guilt, feel the relief. We don't have to go through this. And this, and this, and this, and fucking this. And they'll go back on the ferry, the plastic, beery ferry, with its orange seats, its kiddies shouting and swearing, young blokes like us, bored, shitless, reading magazines with pictures that no self-respecting man would show to a lady in my day. And I think it's gas gangrene. Not just my foot, my leg, my bloody guts spilling into the soil. It's everywhere. It's not what we fought for, mate. That's all.